Hi, my name is Jonathan Smith. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Jekyll on Linux Mint. Jekyll is a very good tool if you're using it for blogging or making static websites. I use it actually for my website at the current time, and I've been using it for a few years now, and it makes it very easy. The only problem with it is sometimes it's hard to get loaded and running on your OS. So, what you should do is go to JonathanMarkSmith.com. Again, that's JonathanMarkSmith.com. And I'll show you how to install Jekyll on Linux Mint. Sorry about that. What I'm going to do is actually use my instructions from my blog and do it so I don't have to do all the typing. So, first thing we got to do to get it working is install Ruby, Ruby Deb, and Make. And then after that, rank Jekyll and Node.js is great to have installed. Well, actually, you need them installed. So first, let's take the first command. And this command is going to sudo app great sudo. You're going to then install the package Ruby, Ruby Dev, make, and rank. And, of course, i got to do my password. And it's going to ask you if you want to install. It's going to take 30 mags and say, yeah. Now, as I said, on some of the other OSs, this might not be as easy as this. But I found it very easy on Linux Mint to install. So, that's why I decided to write the tutorial. And as you can see, it's installing. It's going through... Let's keep going. I found it very easy to write my blog, maintain my blog, and also my website with it. And you'll find it very powerful too. There's a lot of other tutorials on the web to show you how to use it once it's installed. Not too many of them help you get it installed as easy as this one, but it is pretty easy to install on Mint. And as you can see, it's still installing. And let's see, it's still going. I also found using Linux Mint is very easy. A lot of stuff I've been doing on it. It just seems to work right, seems to install right, so I'm pretty proud of it. And, okay, it looks like everything's downloaded, everything's preparing to unpack, unpacking, presses in. So, now let's get the second line. Now this line again is going to use Ruby now. To install Jekyll. You see that gem command? That's part of Ruby. So let's do sudo gem install Jekyll. And let's go ahead. And this should take a few seconds. Depending on your network speed, it could take a while. The network I'm using at this location is pretty slow, so that's why sometimes this takes a while. But it gives us more time to talk. I really did wish it would show you some type of progress as it was doing it. But up oh, there it goes. And it's fetching everything. Takes a while. And now it's doing the build. Let's see.
See, it builds a lot of gems. Still going. Great. As you can see, it just installed 31 gems. Now, for the last and final step. Is to install Node.js. And again, that has to be done as sudo. Say yes. And it's going through. And as I said before, depending on your network speed, this could install slower or faster. On my network's pretty slow. So now that's it. Everything's installed, and you can now use Jekyll on your computer for blogging. So now, again, if you want to follow these instructions, you can go to my blog, johndemarksmith.com, and just do a search on how to install Jekyll on Linux Mint. And it will be there. Any other questions, please feel free to Ask me by email. Thanks.